Valdosta will be hitting the silver screen in hopes of getting the golden ticket, a voucher for housing assistance. I'm Malia Thomas in Valdosta, and I'm back at the Partnership to End Homelessness to see how one neighbor is relying on housing funds. It's the worst feeling. Meet Lisa Comer. Everything had been going well until Hurricane Idalia hit, devastating her home and forcing her to seek housing assistance. She has been living in her car. A home she put a $1,000 down payment on won't be available until November. FEMA has only been able to provide her with $2,000 so far, which quickly ran out due to expenses brought on by the hurricane. So Lisa, I've been having a really hard time pinning you down today. I don't you, know. You're, you're fine though, miss, you're fine. Oh. But can you kind of explain why it's been so hard to catch you? Because like we, my daughter was asleep, it's hard to get her up, and then I have dogs, then I put everything in the car, get everything organized, and it's like, it's so much to live out of a car to get all that stuff right together. Right now, there's red tape around Georgia's version of Section 8 housing help for people like Lisa. She tells me she doesn't know where she and her daughter go from here. I checked with Valdosta Housing Authority. The help provided by the Valdosta HA tend to cover most of the expenses and are of great assistance to families that are struggling. Like with general affordable housing, demand is easily four to five times greater than the supply. Oh, it's a headache because it, it it's stressful because to wait on somebody to help you is like very hard and to wait on when they're going to help you and then oh they in like fema they did help me with rental assistance but they turned me down for personal property and all my stuff got molded and damaged during the hurricane and they turned me down for personal property so i had to go appeal it again i also met up with area filmmaker steve hedden he's working on a documentary about the state of affordable housing in the city the plan is to show the film to decision makers who could help he says the need is urgent especially for those living in a camp near the Valdosta Mall. They're living with tarps over their heads. They, um, they're not as protected from the weather as they could be for their health. And then, um, you know, they're, they're basically living day to day with what they have. While the Georgia Housing Choice Voucher will help 13,000 people across the state, I'm still working on how much it'll help Valdosta. In Valdosta, I'm Malia Thomas reporting for ABC 27.